the journey doesn't end here. July 19, 2014 Now that I have declared myself, I have many eager and curious seekers asking me questions about this or that. I would like to gently request that the questions cease, for now. Each of us, me included, is responsible for their journey, their own learning, and their own answers. The answers can come unexpectedly, in all shapes and forms. The understanding occurs in that immediate aha. When the light goes on inside, there is a brief flare of triumph and then the next question begins to form. It is the lower mind that seeks the answers to the questions, not your higher mind. Open your heart, connect heart to your higher mind, and the answers to what you seek will come, in their own timing and as you can put the answer in its proper perspective. Think of it like a giant jigsaw puzzle. If you could finish the puzzle in five minutes, you would be quickly bored and put away puzzles forever. As lighted beings, which everyone is on the planet, no matter their current role as black hat or white hat, we have set up our experiences as a vast and complicated game. Some of us have set the mark very high. Others are content with the lower bar to jump over. It depends on the soul's purpose for being here. I understand that there are people who will still get upset at my words, but the strength of your reaction is an indication of the work that you have still to do. If you do not resonate to anything that I have shared, it matters not to me at all. I have nothing to sell to you. Only you, the reader, can decide what resonates or not. If it does not, then kindly find something that does. That is your responsibility, not mine. Love is much misunderstood in this world. The most powerful goddesses are very tough cookies, yet their hearts are as big as Texas, actually much bigger, but you get the meaning. All souls who have embodied into physical worlds are there to experience a slowing down of the learning process so it can be truly understood at the deepest level. If I were to give you answers like someone giving candy to a child, I would be taking away from your striving to be and to really understand. Our modern world has conditioned people to expect sound bites from every authority. In contrast, I wrote an 8,000 word epistle that cannot be read comfortably on a cell phone. I have always loved words and very, very long novels, so it is understandable that I would enjoy writing. The expression comes from deep within. It was my journey that I wrote. I do not have the answers for those who are working on their journeys. Seek your own. They will come when you let go of all expectations and ulterior egoic motives, such as seeking approval, trying to pump up a deflated ego, etc. This journey of mine has required profound self-acceptance of all facets of my being, warts, wrinkles, and thinning hair. I have looked into the heart of darkness and found light there. You can, too. Let go of the fears of exposure. The secrets that you hold within will come out whether you want them to or not. Nothing that you have ever done in any lifetime or lifetimes is held against you by your higher self. So forgive and forget. Forgive yourself and forget whatever it is that you deem so horrible. All experience is beneficial and adds to the wholeness of your multidimensional self. Your fear stems from your 3D conditioning. It is not you. So let it go. Allow the flow of the divine love that is now pouring forth over this planet of ours to wash over you, to wash your auric field clean of all remaining debris. Remember to ask for assistance from the angels and your guides. Due to the law of free will, they cannot help you if you do not give permission first. For those who are first waivers, the deepest, most agonizing memories and hidden trauma may be now surfacing. Face it, acknowledge it. Forgive yourself and all others involved, and let it dissolve into the light. Nothing can harm the eternal being that is the real you. For the second waivers, your journey is different than mine. I wish you well. There is much to be done, but you have some exciting opportunities coming up and many blessings in the offing. It is up to you to discover and create your dreams. As I ascend and re-blend into higher self, I will become more reserved than I am already. I am cutting the ties and roots that have kept me here. And now, I will formally introduce the one who will succeed me. Her name is Cindelia.
She is a Pleiadian sister, half-sister in Earth terms, and younger than I am in 5D slash 6D. She is very eager to begin her journey here, but will need time to acclimate. She will be continuing the blog in my name. I will let Cindelia set the tone of what she wishes to accomplish here. Kindly give us the needed time to adjust to the profound changes that we are both currently undergoing. Also, I firmly but respectfully request that I not be added to any more Facebook groups. I am not interested in expanding my sphere of influence or involvement with other light workers right now. I am going home and that is my primary focus for now. Do not see me as an authority on anything but my own process and that is yet in process. In truth, the journey never ends until we are reunited in the heart of God. There may be echoes in my sharings that resonate in your own experience, but you are unique and precious in your own creation. And although we are truly one in higher planes, we came here to experience being individuals. Embrace that independence and freedom that is offered in discovering who you are. The articles and messages will continue, never fear but kindly keep the comments on topic. I am Tazjima Amaria Kumara, your sister in light and love, follower of the Law of One, keeper of communion with the Divine Mother. Blessings to all. Channeled by Elizabeth Ayers Escher. BlueDragonJournal.com